The Toro Pro Force Debris Blower provides exceptional productivity and reliability for clearing surface debris with power and control. This program will demonstrate proper operation of the Pro Force to do the job effectively and safely. This program is not a replacement for reading and understanding the operator's manual. The manual has all the important information you will need to know about the Toro Pro Force. The operator's manual is located in this tube on the unit. If you cannot find a copy of the manual, go online at toro.com to the customer care section for a PDF of the manual. Safety labels are located at key points on the ProForce equipment to identify potential hazards and how to avoid them. Look for these labels and obey them. Tell your supervisor if a decal is damaged or missing. Here are some common symbols you'll see. Warning indicates a hazard to be avoided. Read the operator's manual to understand the hazard. Thrown object hazard. Keep bystanders a safe distance from the machine. Safe operation requires proper clothing and protective gear. Avoid loose-fitting clothing or jewelry that could get caught in moving parts. Wear substantial leather shoes or work boots. Safety glasses, hard hat, and hearing protection are important to protect your eyes and ears. Personal music headphones do not provide hearing protection and can distract you from safely operating the equipment. You should never use headphones while operating the ProForce blower. Check with your supervisor on local ordinances, insurance, and facility regulations for proper protective gear. It's also important that you complete the Toro Turf Maintenance Safety Education Program and test. They are available online at toro.com under the Customer Care section. Inspect the ProForce before connecting it to your tow vehicle or starting the engine. Ensure all safety shields, tow hitch, and nozzle housing are on the blower and securely attached. Attach the blower to the tow vehicle by backing the tow vehicle up to the trailer hitch. Attach the hitch pin and clevis pin onto the tow vehicle hitch. Ensure the hitch pin and clevis pin are securely attached before moving the blower. The hitch tube should be parallel to the ground. If it is not, have your maintenance staff adjust the hitch tube as outlined in the operator's manual. The ProForce Debris Blower is powered by a Kohler 27 horsepower air-cooled gasoline engine. Check the engine oil level and add oil if required. The fuel gauge for the ProForce is mounted on top of the fuel tank. Check the fuel gauge and fill the tank before going to the job site. Carbon canister and purge lines should be inspected daily. Clean the area around the fuel cap to keep contamination out of the tank. Use only unleaded gasoline in the blower engine. Mixing or using the wrong fuel can cause needless downtime and repair. When adding fuel, always make sure there is no open flame or ignition source that could ignite the fuel. 
fill the fuel tank on a level surface and fill just to the bottom of the fill neck. The ProForce comes with a wireless remote control that operates start, stop, throttle, and lower nozzle direction. Start the engine manually for the first start of the day or when the engine is cold. Activate the choke and turn the key to start the engine. After the engine is started, and running smoothly, deactivate the choke. Never start the blower when it is not attached to a tow vehicle. If the engine fails to start, wait 30 seconds and try again. After starting the engine manually the first time each workday, you can use the remote keypad to restart the engine. Hold each button for at least one second in the following order. Press and release the start button. Then press and release the rotate left button. Then press and release the rotate right button. This unlocks the start key function. Then press and hold the start button until the engine starts. To increase engine speed, use the increase throttle button on the remote control. To decrease engine speed, use the decrease throttle button. Use the nozzle direction keys to adjust the blower nozzle angle to effectively target and move the debris. If you accidentally press the start button during operation, the keypad will temporarily lock out and not allow use of the remote. The remote will function properly after waiting five seconds. The ProForce and remote control are designed with a timeout feature. The engine will stop and the remote control will become inactive if the remote is not used in any way for two and a half hours. You can keep the remote control active by using any control function on the remote control periodically. If the remote control times out, turn the key switch on the blower to the off position and then back to the start position. This will restart the engine manually and reactivate the remote control. If the engine is turned off but the key is left in the on position, the remote control will remain active for two and a half hours. To stop the engine, first press the decreased throttle button on the remote control to slow the engine to mid-speed. Then, press the engine stop button. If the remote control that comes with the machine is damaged or lost, it can be replaced. The new remote control must be synchronized with the unit. This process is outlined in the operator's manual. Once you are confident of safety in your work area, you are ready to start the job. Always be aware of buildings, landscape features, vehicles, and people that may be in the path of operation. Do not stand by the nozzle. Blown debris can cause damage and can be especially dangerous to other workers or bystanders near your work area. When you get to the job area, Perform a visual inspection before starting the job. Look over the area and remove any branches, stones, or other obstacles. They could be thrown and cause damage or injury.
be careful to point the nozzle downward as much as possible. This reduces lateral throw of the debris that might hit objects or people. Drive at a slow pace, keeping aware of any objects or bystanders that might come into range of the blower discharge. If someone enters your work area, immediately stop the blower engine and wait for the area to clear. Never step in front of the nozzle when the engine is running. The blower creates considerable force and could cause serious injury from thrown debris. Do not operate the blower and tow vehicle on steep slopes, which could cause a tip or rollover. Do not approach bunkers, drainage ditches, water features, or ledges. Only operate in areas with plenty of room to turn. The ProForce Model 44539 with a U.S. Department of Transportation approved trailer has tires, hitch, and lights to meet Department of Transportation requirements for use on public thoroughfares. This U.S. DOT approved blower is identical to model number 44538 except for those important features. This model has wheels and tires for higher transport speed and use on roads or more challenging terrain. Tire pressure should be checked and maintained at 35 PSI or 241 kPa. Inspect the tires regularly for wear and damage. Also, check the lug nuts periodically to ensure they are snug to the torque in the operator's manual. The tow hitch is equipped with a standard two-inch ball and auxiliary safety chains. Ensure the wire harness is properly connected to the tow vehicle and the hitch is secured with the lock handle and locking pin. Check the tail and brake light operation on the tow vehicle and blower before taking the blower onto public streets. Point the nozzle up when transporting the blower for maximum ground clearance. The ProForce model number 44539 can transport at up to 55 miles per hour or 88 kilometers per hour. Always obey posted speeds and use special caution when crossing intersections or in congested areas. Start, stop, and turn gradually to avoid risk of rolling the blower trailer. Park on a level area and use chalk blocks. There are no brakes on the ProForce trailer. At the end of the job, reinspect the blower and clean off dust and debris. Check for damaged or loose parts and tire pressure. Tire pressure should be 14 PSI or 96.5 kPa on model number 44538 and 35 PSI or 241 kPa on model number 44539. Be sure to perform maintenance as scheduled to keep the engine operating safely. Disconnect the battery cable if any service needs to be performed on the ProForce blower. With proper care and operation, the ProForce debris blower will provide years of effective, fast, and safe operation.